Hello and welcome to another edition of the Bible Wheel program. And it's been a while since I last recorded uh, a video. And uh, in the meantime, I was I had decided to uh, to develop uh, to remake my uh, database table and uh, to to work on the programming and everything uh, because I used to. Uh, compare scriptures with scriptures, and uh, it took a it took a while to develop uh, this uh, this method this program. So in, I decided uh, in the meantime I was reading uh, a lot of history, and it would surprise you, but uh, history has a lot to has a lot to offer. People learn from their histories. If people don't learn from history, they end up repeating. That's what it says. Uh, that, that's that's a saying. And uh, uh, Richard Emil Magoo, uh, he mentioned the Bible wheel in relation to history. As you see the 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 image, the the picture. Is he's relating the alphabet to uh, to to the centuries before Christ and after Christ, and um, before Christ, it's hard to uh, tell. I haven't literally looked into it yet uh, because information is scarce. But after Christ, uh, you'll find more and more information as you go. Here's another diagram uh, which uh, Richard Daniel Magoo uh, drew to show um, where Christ stands in history and uh, and how the the letters of the Bible wheel revolve whether it be uh, before Christ or after Christ. And um, uh, it ends, it starts and it ends with Jesus Christ. Uh, the Old Testament or the Old Testament era ends with Jesus Christ on the cross. Uh, as he said, it is finished while he was on the cross. And whereas the New Testament ends with the book of Revelation uh, as uh, God himself or Jesus, while he w he's on the throne, he's saying, it is finished. And, uh, in brief, uh, that's how it is. And you're now going to see in detail how uh, the New Testament, uh, not the New Testament, but uh, the, the post-Christian uh, age uh, develops so here's my uh, blog menu concerning uh, uh, Bible wheel and uh, history post-Christian history and uh, I put down um, a select language on top if uh, English is not your first language you could translate it into your native tongue and you can also share it uh, to your people and um, I put put down uh, the the diagram of the Bible wheel uh, starting with the first book Genesis to the last book uh, Song of Solomon uh, the 22nd book that is and the second cycle starts with Isaiah being the 23rd book or the tw uh, first book of the second cycle and it ends with uh, the 44th book, Acts, which is the 22nd book of the Bible, and the 22 epistles. And uh, I put uh, a video on uh, the genealogy of the Byzantine emperors, uh, a family tree, ranging from uh, 610 to 1453, when uh, the uh, Byzantine Empire collapsed. And... Uh, Uh, 
I also uh, do a, I did researches on other kingdoms as well. It's not just the Byzantines, but uh, uh, what I do is uh, I look into the into the era they lived in, the the century they lived in, and uh, uh, and how it coincides with uh, the number of the book in the Bible, and. Here's the Bible Wheel menu with post-Christian history and links. On the left hand, there's the spokes, the 22 spokes. Uh, in the middle section, the, the 22 alphabets represented by the 22 spokes. And on the right hand, uh, the 22 uh, centuries. I didn't do any research on uh, the first three spokes, but uh, uh, the first spoke, uh, the first century, that is, um, it ranges from the birth of Christ to uh, to the John uh, in the island of Patmos. And uh, the second century has to do with uh, division, the persecutions, Christian persecutions. And um, but it gets interesting in the fourth century 